gravy. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Elude Star Wars Plays. Today, we're going to be playing V Rising. This is a new game I just saw made by Stunlock Studios that's now available for, I think, the Alpha on Steam. Uh, I'm actually playing on a server. Uh, I'm, I, I think that base is pretty much gone. And I've also made a couple of servers, but I think today for the stream, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from the start. And, well, I mean, we can eventually probably peek at the server and see what that looks like if you want, but I think I might make one if it lets me. I don't see how I could if I wanted to. Oh, play. So I'm going to do a private game. We're going to go elude stalwarts world. It'll be a PVE world. Yeah. Because it'll probably just be me. It'll be uh, not a land server, online only solo play. I mean, I guess we could have other people join, but that'd probably be obnoxious. So I'm just going to do the default settings as well, and we'll just start the game. There is a little trailer, the intro I probably should have showed you guys, but I'm sure you could watch a video and it's it's pretty interesting. It gives you a little bit of the backstory. It sets the stage for like the world that the game takes place in. And uh, it's pretty much vampires and werewolves and shit. So it's fucking cool. Uh, I've so far, I've made it as far as uh, you get. You'll see when we get in there, you'll get a blood altar. You can start to assign like bounties on different targets and the different targets like Valheim, you slay them to attain abilities. So like one of the first people that I was able to run into, I was just like patrolling in front of my base was like some sort of a chaos magic witch. So I ended up with like chaos magic pretty early on and that shit was cool. And I started to learn how to do like the blood altar and everything probably a little bit too late, but we'll go ahead and we'll make a guy here. I found out pro tip, you can scroll down and there's like a darker uh, spectrum of colors that are available there. Th so if you don't want like a really tan light skin guy, you can get some melanin. I don't know if it actually helps with like sun protection or anything, but you can make your guy a little bit darker. The faces here are freaky. Some of these faces, guys. Look at this shit. And then he's got the why so serious looking. And then in Nosferatu, this is cool. I usually go with the that's freaky. Uh, 11. 11 was my guy. I'm going to do 11 across the board. Y'all can play with those whenever y'all play, but. I'm gonna go with 11 here as well. They got pretty cool hairstyles. This one reminds me of uh, Nightmare in World of Warcraft. That one's pretty cool. That's an 11 as well. That's why I was saying 11, guys. You can go with the darker hair colors down here as well if you scroll your mouse wheel down. I didn't know about this at first. So this is actually MLG trade secrets here. You got features. Oh, look at that. He'll stab you with this pointy beard. And then you got the bushy beard in case you want to protect someone. And then I usually go with the kind of unkempt beard because my beard kind of grows weird. All right, we got jewelry, uh, glass, glasses. Oh, he got the red ones. We're going to go with the red ones. His name will be Elude Stalwart. Create. Here it goes. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Banana, bam, banana. Now, the way you move and everything, look at this. Look at, I hit space bar here. Elude Star. Elude. Look at this. I'll go around here and just like, it's like Zelda. You can break the pots. Now, one of the cool things is he looks at the mouse. So whatever direction you have the mouse, that's which direction he'll spin. He's got haunts. Get him out of here. He's dead. We got Beckon. Like, come on, guys. A little Star Wars stream. Stream started, guys. Come on. Come on. And then, and then, oh, oh, so we might have a viewer. And and then y'all are going to be like, yeah, loose star. All right, let's keep going. We're going to crack all these open because I think it gives you a nice little start. I hit a space bar ability, you get some right off rip, you get some of these abilities. Veil of Blood. Dash towards input direction and elude nearby enemies for 2.2 seconds. Your next primary attack deals 25% damage and heals you. 
He leaves. <laughs> it's like Naruto. He does the sexy jitsu shadow clone. He leaves them distracted. They're like, hold on. Is that a female silhouette? Let me look a little closer. It is, isn't it? <laughs> he does the Naruto sexy jitsu shadow clone. That shit's fire. You know they're distracted. You know that you're going to get away. You could also break the lights because we're a vampire. We don't want lights. Where we're going, we don't need the light. We're going into the dark. She's like, Arthas. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? This city must be cleansed. This whole city. Oh, it's almost nighttime. We got a clock up here by the compass as well. It tells us pretty much the time of day. The fiery hours, the orange ones, are the ones that will set you on fire. And then the like blue ones, thankfully, I guess the default settings are... It looks like three quarters day, night and one quarter day. I think that's kind of like Minecraft. So that's interesting. I'm done breaking these pots. All right, we're going to keep moving. Now, among the other abilities that we have, we had that space bar one. Y'all saw Veil of Blood. We can actually throw shadow bolts. These are projectiles. They do 200% magic damage and inflict a fading snare. So you actually slow them down. And then with this shit, this blood right. Okay, so you can block a melee projectile and attack for 1.5 seconds. Blocking an attack kills you for 30% of your spell damage. So you can block and heal at the same time while knocking them back. That's cool. Turning non-material. Okay, so it deals 100% magic, magic damage. Turn non-material for 1.2. Okay, so we're actually, we become non-material while we're like that. For 1.2 seconds. It's almost like a counter. So if you could time the counter, you can actually like get healed by it, knock them back. It's, it just makes all the good stuff happen. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm just like left click spamming to kill him. Looks like you can open this. We got bones, lumber, and stones. Y'all have like a main quest story up here. Main story quest up in the top left. It says the sword, wielding the sword. A swift and deadly weapon that slashes through flesh and bone with thicket and thickets with ease. It was the first step towards restoring my former glory. This will unlock the recipe for a bone ring. So craft a sword and slay three enemies with that sword. Okay. Craft a sword. I think that's tab. Crafting. Bone sword. All right, so it's kind of like rust in this sense where you click it and it like over time crafts. You can keep doing stuff while it's doing that as well. And then it'll auto equip. There's number one. So we got to do three of these. One. This is the one. He can't even move. He's just staggered the whole time. All right. We need another one. We have two to go. Oh, this is a bigger dude. So what's cool about the shadow clone is they'll sit there and actually hit the shadow clone. It has like a taunt almost. So a lot of the times you can get positioned kind of neatly that way with the shadow clone, like kind of taking some of the bullet fire whenever you're dealing with like ranged attackers like this. See, he'll actually shoot at that. That's cool. And then here's the shadow bolt. We got to kill him with the sword though, right? All right, so that's three. Crafting the bone ring, a ring infused with the rotten blood of the dead. <laughs> a simple trinket to some and a powerful relic to myself. Craft a bone ring, hit enemies with the shadow bolt. Okay, so I gotta craft the bone ring. Keep it in control instead of tab. Bone ring's crafting in nine. I'm gonna shadow bolt this skelly. Uh, uh, I got six seconds here, look. Ah, and then we'll shadow bolt again, another one. Flame. Okay, we got something here. Armor of the bones, or armor of bones. The bones of the dead proved helpful in protecting my body. Okay, we can loot a rat here. The rat can be consumed to gain a small amount of blood. Alters your blood type if you're not frailed. I'm currently frailed. In the top right, it says blood type frailed. Blood pool. I'm like half half a tank. I got a half a tank of gas in the new E class here, guys. Not a quarter tank. I got a half a tank of gas. <laughs> Boom. Got him. We should be crafting some armor while we're doing this. 
Ow, he hit me. Okay, let's eat a more. Let's eat some more rats. <laughs> He's just chicken nuggets, guys. It's just chicken nuggets. That's all. Blech. Okay, that's the thought. I don't. I don't even. Okay, come on. We got the chest and the legs going, but we need. Oh, we need animal hide for the gloves and the boots. Bone guard gloves and bone guard boots. Oh, they're auto equipping. So he puts them on. Here comes the legs. Lop. Yeah. Okay, good, good. See if there's anything else here. We're getting stone, plant fiber, all useful materials, I'm sure. This is like Minecraft in the sense is you have like specific tools for specific jobs. You'll have like, for example, these are skeletons, right? You can't really slice a skeleton, but if you had a hammer, you could do some blunt force trauma. So I think it works like that with enemies. I know it works like that with the, the resources you gather. Like you want an ax in order to uh, chop trees. And you want a hammer to break down stone because there's not a pickaxe. If there was a pickaxe, you'd probably use that, but I don't have a mini map and I don't know if I'm heading the right way. I, I think I got to get out of this area. We're going to look for thick hides going to come from animals. So let's find the forest. Is there, I don't know if it's the mini maps, not useful. Can I M? No, there's no map. That's weird. Over here to the right, there's like a square. Oh, this looks like a way. Is this where I came from? I'm like level eight off of these guys. I need hide. Oh, this is something else to note. Like my space bar, my veal of blood is, I kind of consider it like a movement speed ability. When it's on cooldown, you can hit space bar and it'll show you. I think this is where we came from. We just doubled back, didn't we? Let's check. Is this where we came from? It pretty much looks the same. I don't think it's a different place. Okay. North. Let's try north. Well, there's no compass, so you don't really know. I'm wasting my night away. It's like half the night's gone. Yeah, now I remember. <laughs> this is the way I came. Shit. We'll probably need bones. Let's collect bones. Okay. So while, while something's on cooldown, you can hit it again and it'll show you how many seconds remaining. At, at one point, I thought that was how much damage I was taking. <laughs> like spamming it and being in the shit and spamming it again. I'm like, oh no, they're doing four and seven damage to me. This is awful. But it's actually the cooldown for, this, for the ability. And same with these. These will do the same. And this has five seconds, four seconds. Fairbane Woods. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. I thought we were gone whenever I hit the thing, but I still heard him shooting. I could have got knocked out of that, I bet. This is cool. You hit shift to do your flip. It's That's a neat mechanic. I, I think that's subtle. What that is is subtle. Your ability to, to like shift jump like this. You can't shift jump up, but you can shift jump, jump down. So this is important. This is important to keep in mind whenever you're thinking about taking a territory, which we're probably going to have to show you here in a second. We got the uh, creature here. Oh, I should have ate him. I think I got his fur, his leather though. Yeah, he gave me some leather. Let's see if we can craft something. Here's the gloves. We need boots. So let's get just a little bit more leather for some boots. What is this? Cockroaches. I stepped on one of them. I don't think it gave me anything. Here's something red over here. What is this? Oh, this is the gate. Hold to teleport. Or something off. Ooh, it's, a, it's a wolf. Oh, he's chasing the deer. I thought he was after me. <laughs> I was like, oh. He's a 2% wolf. The deer is 16% though. Did you see that? Here, look at this. Come here. Come here. We're going to kill this one. Where'd that deer go? Where'd that deer go? Come on back here. There he is. 16%. Just don't kill it. 
No, don't kill it. Okay. We nom nom this. So I just hit F and now he's gonna eat him. And now my creature type changed. I'm a creature. Look, I'm red too. What is this? This is the 16% wolf. This is the same percentage as the deer I just ate. So these are like the quality. I think they like have a random chance of spawning and having different quality. That's a pretty interesting thing as well to note. You could actually, you chomp down to bite on these guys. And if your feed isn't off a of cooldown or is off a of cooldown, then you can quickly just chomp them and finish them. It's like an execute. So you could do like a little 10% hit points execute there. Oh, I thought for some reason I'd leave a shadow clone back whenever I did that. Uh, let's swing, swing. For attacking, you can just like hold down left click here like I do, or you can just like spam click if you want. I like to throw these cause they hit pretty hard Them shadow bolts, especially we got our ring too. All right, let's get our boots. Boots crafting. We got eight seconds left. And those are auto equipped here. And the only thing we'll be missing is the helm and the cloak, but we don't make that for a while. I think I just barely made that on my the game I was playing before I fell off a bit. 